Behold, I tell you a mystery from our ancestral history. How the leaders of our institution are chosen by our constitution. It's easy, sensible, and smart, which you can learn by heart. By repeating after me. Woo! You'll get this in no time. You got two. I said two. Main parties, Democrat and Republican. You got two. I said two. Main parties, political parties, Democrat and Republican. It's easy, sensible, and smart, which you can learn by heart. By repeating after me. Got it? Well, our president is chosen through a primary or caucus, which leads to a convention that's orderly or raucous. Our president is chosen through a primary or caucus, which leads to a convention that's orderly or raucous. Every four years, and you can spend as much money as you want to. We're voting. voting. On the Tuesday after the first Monday in the month of November. The month of November on the Tuesday after the first Monday in the month of November. We're voting, voting, voting in America. Now on to college. Now on to college? The Electoral College. Oh, the Electoral College. Wow. Each of the 50 states receives a number of electors equal to its total number of senators and representatives. The what? electors are pledged to vote for the candidate of the party unless they choose not to. Wait, the winner, the majority of votes in each state take all the state's electors in a winner-take-all system. The Electoral College ensured the smaller and rural states had a disproportional say in selecting a president which in the early days of our great nation ensured they could keep their slaves. <laughs> hail, hail, the word of the ballot. Hail, hail, the word of the ballot. And the next president of the United States is the word of the ballot.